Hey there folks, it's Brittany Jackson from Tech and Trek. And today I'm going to show you how to utilize Excel on your iPad. So first off, if you haven't already downloaded it, you're going to want to find self-service on your iPad. For me, it's in my Hiram folder and it's that first option there. It looks like a skewed square with four dots in the middle and it's pretty colors. So I'm gonna click on that. And in here, you can find any of the Hiram sponsored apps that you can download. So these are all here and available. If it says install, then go ahead and install it if you'd like to. I've already downloaded Excel, so in this case, it's not going to show up in here for me because I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead and come out here and go to Office because that's where I've kept my Excel version. So I'm going to click on the Excel button here. First time you go through, it's going to ask you a couple of questions and I'm going to hit Create and Edit Documents. So here it's going to take you to that first main page, so your new, you know, creating a new document. There are options here of making a list, totaling a list, tracking tasks, any of that kind of thing for you. I'm going to start with a blank workbook, but you can also go out and find a document if you've been working on one by clicking the folder button under the plus sign in the left-hand side and go into your OneDrive and you can find if you've got an Excel document there. I'm going to go back to that plus sign because I'm going to start a new blank document. And here you can see it is very similar to Excel on your desktop or laptop. There's a little bit less functionality on the iPad than there is on the desktop version of Word. So know that they're constantly updating it and it's getting better and more features are being added regularly, but it is kind of considered a light version of Excel. But most of the time, unless your instructor tells you otherwise, if you need to use Excel, this version will probably do just fine for you. So here you can see up in the top, we've got the home tab and there you've got your fonts and whether to bold things, color text. If you click on this one, you can add in or delete rows or columns. And if you click on insert up here, here you can put in a table. You can take information from pictures or photos. You can add shapes and text boxes. You can put in charts. Um, so there's different types of charts you could add in if you needed to. If you click on draw here, you can just write in using your Apple Pencil. So you can go ahead and tap with draw. And here you can see I can write on my on my document, but I'm going to go ahead and do, hit undo because I didn't actually want that on there. You can click formula, the formulas tab and find the typical formulas that you would use. So there's always the auto sum. These are the most common free features, the auto sum, the average, the count numbers and max and min. If you're doing anything financial, all of that's um, under the financial tab. If then for logical sequences and you know the ones you use most frequently, I tend to use some average or count and any other features you might want under formulas are available here. And then the data. Do you want to filter your data in ascending or descending orders? That would be here. Do you want to filter it by a specific category? You would need information in the top hand, uh, the top column to do that. Again, just like in Word, if you want to review if your instructor is going to leave you feedback on this, they may add in comments by clicking on comment, or you can do so with your peers if you're peer editing something in an Excel document. And then under view, you can see that you could zoom in if you needed to or zoom out. You can also, just like in Word, come up here, click save, change the name of this document, and save it to wherever you'd like. Just like in Word, you can add in your OneDrive account down here where it says add storage account and connect it to your account OneDrive, or you can connect it to a Google Drive or anything like that. So if we click Add Storage, you can choose Dropbox, um, OneDrive, um, Box Edmodo, it's like Learnium, Simplicity, SharePoint, any of those places that you would want to access. Again, your Hiram account will be removed when you graduate. So anything that you save, you wanna make sure if you it's something you're gonna want a copy of, that you've backed it up in another location other than OneDrive, um, but you can also do you can also export all of your information out from OneDrive and then upload it into a Google Drive or something similar as well. But know that that will happen when you graduate. You can also once you've saved it, you can send a copy to people using Outlook or another app. You can export it out as a PDF. You could print it, and there's information on how to air print from your iPad in the Hiram Technology 101 resources. The good thing about Excel is it. If you're using it in the app, it does the auto save feature, which is really helpful. And then you can also click on this little arrow beside that and again, change the name of it, save the copy, and then send that copy to somebody if you'd like to. So I'm going to go ahead and click save as titling it as a book. 
Now I've done that, it's going to come up and tell me I can share it with another person, which I can send as a link or I can add them directly in. I can give them editing permissions or not. Very similar to what you can do using the typical Excel program on your desktop or computer. That's kind of a really broad overview of how to utilize Excel on your iPad. If you have questions, feel free to stop by the Tech and Track desk here in the library. We are located straight back just before the Clock Tower Cafe on the main floor. As always, good luck.